The Evansville Regional Economic Partnership promotes our area as a vibrant place to do business, to work, and to live. Josh Armstrong is the Chief Economic Development Officer for EREP. Good morning. Angie, good morning. Lots of exciting things happening from, from your part of Main Street. <laughs> there, Correct. There's all kinds of things happening yeah. on Main Street. So uh, talk to us first about this acceleration initiative and what that means to the area. Sure. So this began uh, with Ready 1.0 in 2021. Governor Holcomb uh, signed that into, into law, and that was a $500 million grant, matching grant program that the state developed. The second round of that, Ready 2.0, was just announced, and we brought home $45 million in matching funds to accelerate projects in the four-county Indiana region. So when you brought back, of course, that was all over Facebook. You won this incredible amount of money. Did you have to already present ideas and projects that might be possible? We were focused more on goals and strategy. And then we, uh, we suggested some projects that might fit with those goals and strategies. And our, our goals and strategies match those of the state to really create a better quality of life for people, better opportunities for people to earn uh, and, and work in more fulfilling ways and to have a healthier life. The, the, that's the, the, the focus areas of these ready dollars. Now, so this is not, as we talked about, not building a program per se, but this is infrastructure things. For example. For example, um, developing a large apartment building that perhaps needs some groundwork before the building gets built. And financially, that might be tough to do. That might be an example. Trails, connecting multiple parks along a trail system, particularly if it ran in between one county and the next. That would be a great example of something we would like to do. Now, is that revisioning thing that we heard so much about earlier in the year kind of part of that vibe? The where, 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 uh, River Vision? Yes, yeah, the yes. River Vision. Oh, yeah, River Vision, which will be announced on the 21st of May and, and shared with the public, is definitely part of that because that um, is envisions a new riverfront in three counties and so it will have a region-wide impact on people so i would definitely see some projects coming or aligned with the river vision program for the people who are listening thinking aha maybe this is this is for me what's that process like because it's not like i'm going to submit this <laughs> grant proposal and that's it yeah I, it's not like i sit there with a check right. ready to go so uh, visit our website click on the ready link Tell us about your projects. We're going to ask for demonstration of your matching dollars. And, and what we're looking for is at least 60% coming from the private side, roughly 20% coming from Ready, and another 20% coming from other units of government. We want everyone to have some skin in the game on these projects to, to yield the most successful projects we can. That, that's, we're going to look at that. We're going to look and see, are these transformational projects? Are, do they help lots of people? Do they work across multiple counties? Those are the types of things we'll be looking for. Do you guide the people who are applying to they, because it is, it's a process. Yeah, absolutely. And we've been working for years from, with the folks that were awarded Ready 1.0 prizes or grants. We've also been working with those that weren't to help them align their projects to maybe be ready for Ready 2.0 or to find other sources of funds to help their projects get completed. Well, I think that's an important piece is that we're not just going to leave you alone. We're no. going to be here to support you because it may be great ideas. Exactly. They may be great ideas and this may not be the right funding for it. All right. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. We'll, we'll look forward to, to more, to hear more from you. Thank you. When we come back, Susan Hyatt is here. Stay with us.